Hello everyone and welcome back to another Halloween makeup tutorial. So in today's video, I'm super excited about this one because we are going to be turning ourselves into this gothic fairy creature type thing. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is I am starting out with a clean face and we want to get our hair up and out of our face, especially if you have super long hair like I do, you don't want that shit to get in the way. So just make sure you put it up as high as you can get it all out of your face and we can go ahead and get started so because we are going to be doing very dark eyes I am starting with my eyeshadow today which is something I don't normally do but we are going to be using a lot of black shadows so it's just better in case there is any fallout First, I'm starting with the Urban Decay Original Naked Palette, and I'm going in with the shade Buck, and I'm going to start sweeping this all throughout my crease and all over my eye, just so all of the other shadows that we use will blend right on top of this really, really nicely. Once we have that all saturated, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I'm going in with these kind of warm and cool toned browns, kind of mixing them together just to kind of deepen up that crease a little bit and kind of creating a little bit of a transition color as well. Next, I am going in with this Wet n Wild kind of glittery eye base, and this is in the shade Karma. Really pretty. I wanted this look to look kind of wet and dramatic and glittery looking, so I'm putting this all over my eyelid just to kind of create that kind of base for the rest of the black eyeshadows and the glitter that we are going to be applying. So I'm just kind of building this up, and then I am going to go back over this with a black eyeshadow. This is Blackout from Urban Decay at Naked 2. And I am starting with just kind of packing this in the outer corner. And then we are going to go back through and put this all over the lid and blend everything out really, really well. And then for the glitter, I'm going to be using this kind of glitter eyeshadow from CoverGirl. This is in kind of like a black color. And I am just packing this all over the lid, again, pretty deliberately. And then I'm gonna go in with this kind of Stila silicone eyeshadow brush. If, I don't think it's a brush, but we're calling it a brush today. And I'm just kind of spreading this evenly all throughout the lid. After I let that dry, you can go ahead and remove the tape to reveal the beautiful edges that you created with the eyeshadow. And then I'm just going through with a makeup wipe to clean up any extra fallout that might have happened during blending. Then we are going to move on to our little fairy nose. So to do that, I am just flipping up my septum ring and I'm also going to be taking out my nose rings for this. If you have fresh piercings, or any sort of fresh nose piercing. This look probably isn't gonna be for you, but all of mine are healed, so I'm just gonna take them out for this look. I'm going in starting with some spirit gum, and I am going to be putting this on my nose where we are going to be applying the fake nose. Spirit gum is very, very important because we are going to be using scar wax, dun dun dun, and you definitely need a good sticky base to put that scar wax on. The next thing is you're gonna wanna grab some Vaseline this worked really well for this and first I'm going to get my fingers and hands full of Vaseline and then we can dig into the scar wax and the scar wax that I'm using is by Ben Nye this is the nose and scar wax this is an NW2 which is fair and I took a little kind of like spatula type thing and covered that in Vaseline and took out a decent amount of the scar wax, stuck it onto the spirit gum so it adhered really nicely, and then just kind of started molding this on my nose. This was my first time ever, ever creating a nose with scar wax. This was very, very difficult. It's a lot easier said than done, but the one thing I will say is make sure you have a ton and I mean a ton of Vaseline on your fingers and hands because as soon as it starts to wear off, 
the scar wax is just gonna stick and start crumbling off everywhere so that is something that I learned now the nose that you are seeing here is kind of like a starting point because Although it turned out okay, I wasn't fully satisfied with the shape, so we do go back in eventually a little bit later and kind of build it up. But this is just kind of like the start of everything. Now that we kind of have the general shape of the nose, we can move on to the face. And I am going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business. This is the mattifying primer, and I am just applying this all over my face. I'm not putting any on the nose, as you can see, so I'm just kind of putting this all on the rest of my face. Then for foundation, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made, and this is in Golden Ivory, or L30. And I'm just putting a decent amount of this all over my face and neck. I kind of wanted to go with more of a tan fairy. I don't know. I just thought that would look better and I could definitely use some color. So after I do that, I'm just using a beauty blender to kind of buff everything in all the way down my neck, on my forehead, all that good stuff. And I'm putting a little tiny bit on the nose as well. Then I am just going through and setting everything with a banana powder, making sure our foundation is nice and set. And then to contour, we are not using any sort of bronzing shade. We are actually going in with this dead gray face powder. And on just a little face foundation brush, I actually think that I used here. I'm using this to contour and the gray kind of made our face look a little bit sunken in and gothic and just dark and creepy. So it was really effective, really, really good stuff. You will see that the nose is a little bit of a different color than my face. I do go in and fix that eventually with just some concealers and things like that. Moving on to the bottom part of the eye, I am first using a jumbo eye pencil from LA Colors, putting that black on my waterline and then buffing out some black eyeshadow to make it nice and smoky. And then to add a little bit more of like a dramatic fairy-esque type look to it, I am using a beauty blender to kind of pull my eye a little bit taut and I am taking some of that eyeliner in black shadow and kind of dragging out the eyeliner. This is actually something I used to do quite often and I thought it would be really suiting for this look so I'm just kind of creating a double wing look here. Next for eyebrows, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Pomade, and this is in the darkest color, and I'm filling in my eyebrows nice and black. And remember, like I told you guys, we do go back in and fix that nose, so I did all the same steps as before. Vaseline on the fingers, Vaseline on the spatula, got out some more scar wax and just kind of molded that over top of the existing scar wax that we had already applied just to kind of fix the nose a little bit, make it a little bit more realistic looking, a little bit thicker, kind of made the point of the nose a little bit more straight, all that good stuff. It's like I said, this stuff is extremely difficult to use and not just for beginners. Everyone in the SFX world always kind of <gasps> at scar wax. It's just, it's very difficult, but I actually had a lot of fun. So this is how the nose ended up turning out and I think it looks a lot better. Next for eyelashes, I'm going to be using these really big dramatic ones. These are by Kara and they are in the style 102. So after I apply those onto my eyes, as you can see, they are very, very big and very dramatic. Now we are going to be adding in some contacts and these are from Camo Eyes and these, you guys, hands down are my absolute favorite. They are in the style Starburst and they are so cool, so comfortable and very effective looking. Moving on to the lips, I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Weirdo. Then over top of that, we are going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lip in the shade Weirdo as well, and also applying that to our lips.
And then just to add a little bit of a different color so it's not just black lips, I'm going in with this Demi Matte CoverGirl lipstick. This is in the shade Peacock, and I'm just putting a little bit of this over top of that liquid lipstick. It's kind of like a navy-ish blue shade, and I thought it would look kind of cool, so I just applied a little bit of this as well. And then of course the only thing left to do is accessorize. So I have this really awesome, awesome choker that I got from Jo Vallow on Instagram. She has her own Etsy shop and makes these really cool gothic looking chokers. I've had this for years and I love it. I'm also applying some little elf ears. I didn't stick them down onto my ears, but if you are going to be wearing this, as your Halloween costume, I would recommend spirit gumming them onto your ears so they don't move. But these really added to the look and really gave it that cool fairy effect. And once you have your ears on, you are ready to rock. Here is how this gothic fairy makeup look turned out. I am so, so happy with the way this turned out. I absolutely love it. I have been wanting to do a fairy look for years now, and I was finally able to do it, so I'm super happy with it. What do you guys think of it? Is this your favorite this year? What look so far has been your favorite that I've done? I have one more left for the Halloween season. I'm so sad about it, but... Yes, this is the second to last look, and I thought it turned out really cool, really sexy, really pretty. So let me know what you guys thought of this look. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to go down, give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to go down and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye!